Welcome to For the Love of Brickle. How you doing? So glad to meet ya. Come and just stories just for a few. Hello, good day, and how do you do? Welcome to For the Love of Brickle, featuring powder. Ruff! <laughs> oh boy. Welcome, welcome, my people. I'm your girl, Brickle. You know, I always get the ups and downs of things that occur in life, though. So, when I was younger, my parents made sure I didn't miss any meals. You know, they always make sure I eat my good food, I eat my good vegetables, and they make sure every day I get a fruit. So, like one day I eat jackfruit, the next day I eat, you know, orange, next day I eat banana, next day I eat melon, and etc. So... I have this auntie and she have a lot of trees at her house and she have a thing for red fruits especially so like when you go like in our fridge which she allow me to I see red fruits like I say like American red apples I see strawberries I see plums of course the plums come in green as well and yellow and cherries you know then come in red yellow green then colors there as well you know she had mostly red fruits though melon a lot of red fruits that was just her thing so she asked me which fruits i want to eat today so i said i want to try the cherries because since there's so much of them she had them in buckets she had them in pans she had them in bowls all type of containers she had in the fridge with them so she gave me a good amount so, and so I wash them and I eat them. So them so and everything. So I say, how oh, you manage to, you know, to enjoy these? So she say, it's not something she get up every day and eat, but she does blend them to they make good juice. So I say, oh, that's the reason why you have so much of the cherries in the fridge. And she say, yes, I'm going to blend some juice now so you can taste it, so you can understand what I mean. So she blends some nice cherry juice and everything. She put a little ginger in it. Oh my. I tell you so tangy. So tangy. So refreshing. So I understand the reason why I should make cherry juice. It nice. So. I turned around and tell her. Say, so I can carry some home. And she said yeah man you can go outside. There's a lot of cherry. There. You can't finish pick cherry when you're outside. So they're excited. And get a little bucket. And start put a lot of cherries in there and then i brought some home and my parents are like oh you bring home cherries man and i say yeah she have so much on them and she say no they make good juice and i say yeah and she, that's what auntie they tell me and she say yeah all right so go on the thing then so i wash them off and make my own little juice because she watch her did so i start making little juice and my parents drink and say wow go, go on go on the brick yeah 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 go on with yourself man yeah go on well so i say yeah so then you know when, well, it's just so funny, because you see, during this time, it was like a cherry fiesta. Because after leaving, my auntie discovering this cherry fruit thing, and then to know, say, there's a cherry tree right across the school, where, you know, we play PE sometimes over there. Because sometimes if we're not playing on our school grounds, we're over that side. So I realized that there's a tree over there and I said, children reading it and I'm not sure which tree it was at the time. So I there and I observed and I said, John, no, sir, look at them having fun. I didn't know how children are. They make everything look exciting and fun. Them over there skipping, them playing hide and seek, them playing tag your it. Them playing all type of games out there and I said to myself, said, John, no, I'm missing out on all the fun. So I read to pull the gate not to go over there and then teach her or know me catch me or if we go through the gate so he asked me where i'm going so i say i'm going over there so because i see all all of all the people they want to know from here from my class over there enjoying themselves and him say oh them over there picking the chinese cherries and i say what chinese cherries i'm say yeah them nice man me see why them over there so go over there now together and the children stop in them pace them start look at each other 
you know, like them saying, trying to act normal type of thing, which they wasn't really acting normal. Some stuff, some cherry in them mouth, have them mouth full, some have some in them hand, and them fist full with them behind them. Some put in them pocket, some of them roll them eye and look up and down at me, especially. Some of hiss up them teeth, let them say, it's like brick a call the teacher over here to get us in trouble. So before you know, the teacher turns to them and say, So why am I hiding all these things for? Everybody going on like so they never did nothing wrong. And they wasn't really doing nothing wrong. So the teacher turned to them and said, Just relax on yourself. You know, relax yourself. And everybody was wondering, What is going to happen now? So they seemed to start pick a cherry and wash off on the, at the same pipe where they were washing their ass at. And start eating and them saying, Ah, oh, you like them too. And they say, Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm over here with you guys because there's not a lot of adults over this side with you guys. So them say, Oh, and then they, and then, you know, some more teachers came and said, What, well, Cherry Tree, a blossom? You know, I, I, well, I mean, Cherry Tree, a beer. So everybody excited. I eat the cherry and over there, play like a game with them for a while for my parents. Come for me. So I make sure I make use of the time and say, no man, them cherries here look like pepper. So I make sure I pick enough, you know, Chinese cherry and car home as soon as they pick me up. So as I reach home now, I did showing my parents the cherries. My father was busy at times. So I never really rest what I was trying. But my mother saw and she said, wait, those look like peppers, so. And I say. No, and she said, she looked at them close and she said, oh my gosh, shiny cherries. And I said, yeah. And she said, oh my gosh, you know how long are those CDs? And I said, and I said, yeah, mommy, them nice, you see. And them look like peppers, though. And she said, yeah, it's a long time I don't eat them. Them always eat good. And she eats some and she leaves some in the fridge. But I don't know which side of the fridge you put them. So they were like, where am I put the cherries? But it can't be hard to find because it's the fridge you put it in, right? But before I go any further, please remember to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. Please remember to select all so that you can receive all notifications every time I upload a new video. Please remember to leave a comment in the comment section. Make sure it's humorous and vibes and all those good things. So now, I dare say to myself, you know, I was like, Everything my parents eat, I, I want to eat, alright? Even though I brought some for her, I just wanted to remember the taste of it. Because it was, it have this addicting taste. It's the Chinese cherries, I tell it have, it have something to it, right? So, I make sure when my mother was sharing up my food, I make my way to the kitchen and just go in the fridge. So, I take out some, some of the cherries. As soon as I spot it, I just take out two cherries and then run go in my room. And toss them in my mouth. And by the time it reached my throat already. Burning out my chest. I saw a gas and said, ah. And my mother was wondering, Brickle, you alright? And I, I don't want she to know something going in her bag. Because you know, the worst is hers. And I don't like trouble in her things. And I said to myself, so GMP is a Chinese cherry. I have a little pepper thing to it to know. And now, so some I run going out of the bathroom. And I saw her flush my mouth with a whole lot of water. I said, the pipe was on blast. I then went, <laughs> And all I saying to myself is like, serve me right for chubby my mother peppers, right? I mean, my mother cherries, right? Why well, they burn me and everything? You remember, I never knew it was peppers at the time, you know. So, I dare now. And then I said, oh my gosh, what I going to get rid of these burning things. And I'm feeling my belly. And I said, Jesus, it looks like Satan got kill me. Because I don't know, I don't know what. You know, I never used to this fruit, so I'm not sure what it is capable of. And trust me, remember as a child, my mind run wild, right? I have a wide imagination, as you, you know. Yes, I did, and I said, gee, what are going to know? So, I took two pieces and train them out, and, and things say that would be better, is, you know. You know, like when you have fire, and you add a little, little oxygen to it, and it starts up again. That's exactly what happened inside my chest. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is my cause for myself now? I must have done no sorry for me to end up really killing myself this time. So, so I start, you know, all of a sudden, a light bulb appeared. Appear! Over my head. And I start realizing, say, 
But wait, mommy now have sugar in the, you know, in the pans. So I go in the kitchen and then I take out sugar out of the pan and put it in my mouth and then turn the, 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 the pepper salt. Calm down. So people, I discovered that sugar can calm down pepper. So I say, oh my gosh, you can't find it. Calm down, I did it. I find, find, find down myself and I say I drink more water and everything. My mother come in the kitchen at the same time and say, Brooke, what happened? So I say, mommy, I'm going to trouble your cherries and then burn up my chest. And she say, my cherries, you sure you could have find them? And I say, yes, I'd eat them and then burn up my chest, mommy. I never know cherries can burn up. She says, it's peppers. Just, and I say, peppers? And she say, yes, I have some red peppers in the And I say, mommy, red peppers? I never know peppers come in red. And she say, yes, there's some red, some yellow, some even orange. Some even purple and those stuff, and she did tell me different colors. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and she say yes, in my own. And she take out the, the, the you know, the cherry bag and show me, and then I start feel guilty and feel like like my waste with time I eat these peppers, you know. Yeah, so them time I discover, say, you know, it was actually peppers I eat. Oh my gosh, I tell you, them look so much like peppers, I swear. And then my father come to the kitchen, same time, and say, so, what do you say? You want some more of these, you know? He started to cut some peppers and said, so you want some more of these cherries? So I said, no. I, you know, I was telling my feelings, but I had to giggle a little and him say, and I said, oh, so you, so I said, so I take some from him and said, oh, so you want some of these, you know, cherries? And him say, hell no. After all me see you behave around up and down, that not, not make that reach, I'm not going to make that reach me, you know? I can't make that happen. So everybody saw a laugh and people from that day, I never look at cherries the same, you know, even though it still gives me the creeps. Dun, 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 dun. Anytime I look at them, you know. So the most I actually, you know, eat cherries like in cherry juice. Otherwise, sure that is not something I go out and just say, yeah, I'm going to get some cherries, right? Oh my gosh, you can imagine this one experience, right? I said I will eat them because I don't I already know to identify them now because I've grown to understand that but it's not it's not my go-to it is so funny oh my gosh so people I learned my lesson to make sure I, I taste a little before I you know just eat something just like that you know so you know taste you know taste your food before I eat it you know type of thing so I never went through that experience ever again I swear to you Oh my gosh. So people, please remember to like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell. Please remember to select all so that you can receive all notifications every time I upload. You know. So, yes. <laughs> you know, I always get ups and downs of things that occur in life. Though, oh boy. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Love you all. Peace.